So we're going to talk about intervals. Now we've talked about how to count them in my class before, but this is dealing with the minor and the major and the perfect of intervals. Okay, so this is dealing with every single note that we have from C to C. Um, we have those seven letters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but then we also have one, two, three, four, five more um, sharps and flats in there. Okay, so we're dealing with going to every single one of them. Okay, the first one is the unison, because C to C is the same note, it's in unison. Okay, next we're going to have a minor second, and that's going from C to D flat, so it's like a half step. Okay, our next one, C to D, is like a full step, and it is a major second, because I'm moving one, two. Okay, my next one, one, two, three, is going to be a third of some sort. The minor is going to be the one that's closer together, so C to E flat. Okay, it's closer together than C to E, so it's my minor. C to E is my major. Okay, and then I have C to F. It's a one, two, three, four. I only have one option for a fourth. It's a perfect. Okay. Same thing with the fifth, one, two, three, four, five. C to G is my perfect. Something they do not tell you about on this paper yet is the one in between the fourth and the fifth called the tritone. Okay. It's very odd sounding. It usually does not get played, but they usually don't talk about it. But no, there is one between the fourth and the fifth that's called, called the tritone. Okay. After fifth, we're going to have the minor sixth from C to A flat. So C to A is my major sixth. And then I'll have my minor seventh to B flat, major seventh to B, and my perfect octave from C to C being the same note. So those are all the intervals beginning with unison all the way up to octave and everything in between.